All right, guys, we're going to be doing task nine, privilege, escalation, cron jobs. This is part of the Linux uh, privilege escalation. I'm going to go ahead and start the machine. And we're going to give it a second start there. So cron jobs, what are they? Uh, they're basically scripts that you uh, make on your computer that will run at a specific time or date. And what we can do is if that script is running let's say as uh, root, then we can modify that script to run a reverse shell, to run malicious code and such. And in the case where system administrator created a script, but forgot to um, get rid of the cron job, then it's possible for us to recreate that script and then have our new script run the malicious code or reverse shell. So that's basically what it is. And we run the Etsy cron tab to enumerate and see what cron jobs we have on a computer. Okay, so what we'll be doing is the first we'll SSH into the computer and I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up my Kali Linux here. All right. So I'm just gonna expand the screen a little bit there. We got the IP up there. I'm gonna go ahead and do SSH Karen at 10.10.248.134. Okay, press enter. And we'll just give that a second. All right, yes, password. All right, we'll just give that a second to load and we're in. So first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to check for cron jobs. Cat etc cron tab. Ah, forgot my R. There we go. And so we got four here. So if you're looking at your try hack, you can go ahead and answer that first that question you have at the bottom. How many cron jobs do you have? You have four and they're right here. So they're all set to run basically all the time. If we look at these stars, they're set to run every minute, set to run as root. So right away we know we can get a you know, good old privilege escalation here. And you have the antivirus.sh, um, the antivirus.hh. And then if we look at our directory, so we will see where are we at right now. Let's see we're in the Karen folder. So hey, let's just run the backup.sh. It's right there, so we'll run that. So let's go ahead and um, now that we know the cron jobs there, I've done this already. So I know that you have to change the, um, you have to make that backup.sh executable. So we could do that by typing in chamod plus x backup dot sh. So we're just going to make it executable before we move on. This is very important. It's not going to work if you don't do this. So make sure you input this chamod plus x and then the file. So we're just making the file executable. All right. Good. So now we're going to use nano to open it up so we can modify it. All right, and now that it's open, we can see all this. And what we're going to do is we're going to take all this good code. We're going to just get rid of it. So we put in our bad, bad code. All right, so let me go ahead and just paste in the code you're going to input. All right. So by the way, you're, what you're going to do is you can follow the comment section below. I'm going to input all the codes you need to run. So if you're having a bad day, you know, terminal's not working for you, or you're having typos, you just paste that in, paste. All right, so you're gonna need your IP, so you can do an IF config, and then at the very bottom, you'll see tunnel zero, and you're just gonna copy your, um, 
your IP, which in this case, in my case, it's going to be this last one. Selection. I am then going to move over here and paste that in. That didn't work. Okay, whatever. I'll type it in. Ten. What was that? Ten dot nine. Dot zero. Let's move this over here so I can see. Dot one. I mean, one three eight. Three eight. Okay. And let me just make sure I have the correct code here, the correct command. Looks like I do. All right, good. Now what I'm going to do is I am just going to start a listener on my computer. So NC. LVP and let's do 779. Make sure I don't have a listener. I feel like I have that listener open. Let's do 776. Um, 776. So let me go back over here. I'm going to change this to 6. All right. So I'm starting my listener. Going up here and I'm clicking Control O. Enter to save the file, control X to exit nano. I know these file editors can be a pain if you're having trouble with that. That was control O as an Oscar and then control X as an X-ray to close it. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna wait, give it a sec, and then hopefully it runs. It didn't run, I did something wrong like I usually do. So, you know, hey, I have to fix it, not a big deal. All right, we're in. All right, so now I'm going to do who am I? It says I'm root. Oh, yeah. Let me do ls. All right, so it looks like we're starting like the root directory, right? Yes. All right, so we need to move directories here. So I'm going to do cd dot dot. All right, I'm going to cd into the uh, home directory. And if I do an ls, you'll see the Ubuntu. Let's go ahead and cd into that, because that's where the flag is. That's where the flags have been, so I already know it's there, right? ls, and then we got our flag. So we're going to cat that flag. That text. And then you can go ahead and paste that in. I think that's one of the questions. That's this one right here. So you paste in that flag. And then we have one more task. We have to find Matt's password. Easy day. So what we're going to do is we're going to CD into the Etsy shadow, or actually, it's a file. So we have to cat it. Sat cat Etsy shadow. All right. So now we're in the Etsy shadow. By the way, that's where the password hashes are kept. And so we see Matt, we see his password hash right here, starting from the dollar symbol all the way down to the eight, I believe. Let me verify. One sec. Six. All the way down to the R. Uh, yeah, no. Nope. So that's from the cash symbol all the way down to the R. And I'm kind of cutting off here, so let me go ahead and move my screen a little bit. So that's what you want. I'll put that in the description in case you're having a bad day and, and everything. You can just paste that in. So, uh, gotcha, got it. All right, cool. So once you copy that, what you're gonna do is you're going to just make a file on your computer. You're gonna name it crack this hash. So you do right click document, empty text, rename it, crack this hash man dot text, crack this hash man. And then you're just gonna go ahead and put the hash in here. All right, so I can paste back in here, you'll see it. There it is. Um, 
What the heck? All right, where's my R? The R. I'm put a dot. Two. All right, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Got my subline text editor here. And then we're going to run John against it. And most likely this isn't going to work for me because I already run John against it. But there's a way for me to see my old commands. Oh, snaps. Ah, I just remembered something. I actually closed the terminal I had open with John. Or maybe I didn't. No, oh, it's here. All right, cool. So then what you're going to do is you're going to run this command. All right, so it's John. Then we're going to point to the password list file we have, which is rock you. And then we're saying, hey, crack this man, dot text. And then it's going to crack it. And there's the password right there in red. One, two, three, four, five, six. So then we're going to go in and put that one into here. And you're done. You did it. Heck yeah, man. Like and subscribe, man. All right. So that's it, guys. Um, I'm going to put this command in the description as well. And if you haven't already, I hope you guys are like saving this in OneNote or something, because you're probably going to come across this again, especially on Try Hack Me. Uh, I've seen this before, so this isn't the first time. All right. Have a good day. I'm out.